caught. Uh, he can't be caught. Um, he cannot. So, so you would think that he's favourite today, but who's against him then? Yeah, well, I just, I mean, before we go off, Lawrence, I, I, <laughs> I, I just have to explain because it's, you know, you think about it, like last year we had 12 rounds of the competition and nobody won more than three. Like eight different people won rounds because it's, you know, there's such a such a variety of tasks and things like not everybody can do everything. Lawrence has won more than half of the rounds in the competition this year. It's It's kind of insane. But like you said, we have a sort of unexpected challenger. Uh which is Bo Ridabon. Bo has not been a, a sort of storied competitor in the FMWC. Uh, he says he takes takes too long to, to work through the problems. But wow, if you've ever seen his YouTube channel, once he does work through them, he comes up with just ingenious solutions. He's posted speed runs to probably half the problem solving problems that have been up on the on the FMWC competitions this year. And his times tend to be, you know, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes for problems that most people aren't able to do in half an hour. It's really just mind boggling to see how fast he can go and, and just how clever some of his solutions are. So yeah, it's, you know, it's like the unstoppable force in the immovable object. If anyone can stop Lawrence, it's got to be Bo. Couldn't be my right there, Dim. Uh, we just saw uh, the schedule up today. We've got three um, tasks we'll be doing. Uh, two of the previous FNWC tasks that we'll go into more, in more detail when we come to them. And then a, a keyboarding challenge at the end. But uh, let's uh, first take a look at our players. Welcome, Lawrence and Bo. Good to have you guys here. Good to be here. How you doing? Yeah, good to be here too. Doing pretty well. I'm I'm feeling very calm because I'm sitting in the host seat for once. It's, it's, it's much a lot easier less on this stressful side. on this side of the fence. <laughs> so, guys, this, for for people who've seen the the FMWC videos before, this is a bit of a change. Rather than a, a surprise case, you guys have had a chance to to look at the case to prepare. Tell us how how has it gone? How have you how have you prepared? Lawrence, why don't you I go first? That. Sure, I'll go first. Um, I just try to I try to solve it, and then um, try to sort of optimize the formulas to find the best solution. Um, and then you just practice a lot on the keyboard. That's that's it. You make it sound that's, so simple. Yeah, that sounds very easy. I think anyone at home could do that. Um, oh, but what about? <laughs> but what about you? Uh, have, have you been doing the same thing? How how are you getting to be so fast at this? I, I I try to find a common. I, I like to use like one formula for everything, but that's it. Good for speed, but bad for modeling. But for for this contest, I think I think this good. So my formula gonna be like only once. Yeah, and a lot of practice. Yeah. Very good. Well, if, you, if think... you can do these in the kind of times you've been doing the videos on your channel, that's that's gonna be tough to beat. <laughs> Yeah, and I think you're right, Bo. I think uh, this is certainly, uh, these two are sort of very, very top modelers, so they're allowed to break the rules a bit. If you're watching this at home, uh, don't copy what they're doing and putting everything in one formula. It's, uh, it's, it's good for speed, but it's not good if you're doing this properly. Um, yeah. 
But, so, but yeah. Uh, let me just say a word about the the challenge these guys are going to be. They've got three three problems to go, but we're starting with what is probably the big beast, uh, which is the share your ride problem. This was uh, this is a challenge in the quarterfinals of the FMWC Open, what's now been rebranded as the the XL World Championship. Next edition coming up. If you feel like you can do these things, you don't have to be able to do them in two minutes. <laughs> But in that shot, normally these are 30 minute challenges. They, they were given 40 minutes for the competitors for this one because they recognized it was particularly hard. And even then, one person, Andrew Nye, who went on to win the tournament, got almost half marks by doing basically a kind of clever version of doing it manually. And the second best score was below 20%. No offense, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that it's up, Tim. <laughs> just, just, yeah. And like, this is among, you know, the eight people who had, you know, gone through many, many rounds, made it that far, like eight Excel wizards. So, you know, if, if those people couldn't do it in 40 minutes, it gives you a sense of just how hard this problem is. I'm going to be very curious to see how, how these two guys get on with it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have a bit of a PTSD looking back at this one. It was a, a very, very tough um, case, and I haven't looked at it since then. Uh, I haven't looked at it since then, so um, I, I think if I sit down and try to get a thousand points now, it'd probably still take me an hour. So the fact that you two are going to do it so quickly is exceptionally impressive. Um, let's look at what the case entails, though. A ride-sharing company has just entered the market of a fictional city, Fun City. They need FMWC Open participants to help in developing a ride planning and traffic forecasting application. The participants are provided with the map of Fun City. The map is populated with vehicles and buildings. In Fun City, the cars drive on the right side. The participants are asked various questions about the vehicle and building types, the distance between two objects, and the time it takes to get from one point to another. To calculate the distance between two points, participants need to use imaginary units of fun blocks. One fun block is equal to one Excel cell on the map. For example, the distance from cell B5 to cell B3 is three fun blocks. Crossroads consist of four blocks. Please note how the left turns and U-turns are being made. Driving is allowed only on the roads and driving backward is forbidden in Fun City. A building can be approached from the nearest cell of the road horizontally or vertically. The time needed to travel between two points is calculated in minutes. Each fun block is equal to one minute. However, if any of the cells on your route contains other vehicles, they will need to spend extra minutes. For every car on the route, they have to add one minute, for every truck, two minutes, and for every cyclist, four minutes. Often, the shortest route is not the fastest. Great, so um, we'll be starting today with Lawrence. Uh, traditionally in the FMWC, we, uh, we we do things side by side, but I think there's just gonna be so much going on that we're, uh, we're gonna have one after the other. So um, Lawrence, uh, without further ado, uh, three, two, one, and go. So Lawrence has started off here. Um, then how, how would you approach this sort of problem in 10 minutes? In 10 minutes, oh my God. I mean, so <laughs> it's, it's one, of the, one of the things that I found hardest about this one is the fact that you, know, you need different formulas for each different part of the road. So you can see here, he's marked the down and up roads and he's going through kind of tagging each of those so that he can, I think the idea is he's gonna try and have just one formula, but he's misplaced the, oh no, sorry, I just took the color off the last one. I thought he had misplaced one, but he's okay. Um, he, he's obviously gonna try and just have one formula that you know says, well, if it's a road going left, then you can look, you know, you can look how far it is from the one before and, and so on. Um, so that's that's definitely a time saver. I mean, you're, I feel like you're going to need a few different copies of this map um, so that you yeah. can say, um, you know, like whatever, here's one that says the traffic time and here's one that says the journey time and I don't know what else he's going to need. Uh, yeah. I'll look at this I one for a while. I'd agree with that. Um, I think, uh, certainly I remember when I did it, uh, it was a similar sort of thing of having uh, a, a map because uh, there's so much going on on this map. So uh, as Dim said, like Lawrence is currently marking out the roads. Um, this seems like quite a manual process, um, but he will sort of, uh, you know, get, uh, get some time saving later. Um, yeah, it'll definitely pay dividends. Yeah. One issue he's going to have, though, is obviously... Um, 
uh, you know, we have uh, the roads going up, down, left and right. But what happens at the crossroads as well? Like if you're going to do everything in one sort of single formula, then you're going to have to have something that looks one thing that looks going left and right. One of it's going up and down. And then sort of what, what happens in the uh, in the square? Nobody knows. So, um yeah, well, I, I think if, if he sets it up so that it basically looks, you know, to the left, to the right, up and down, but conditioned on whether it's a road where you can do that, I think the, um, oh, that's interesting, a find and replace by format to, to sort of boot out, gray out all the, uh, all the non-road pieces. Yeah, and I think sort of uh, one of the trickier things about this problem is uh, the map looks fairly blockish, but it does have some irregularities. There's, a, I think, a big park in the centre that I think is just off screen at the moment, uh, and it's not a perfectly rectangular map. So, uh, yeah, it's a great time saver to uh, get, get rid of the things that aren't roads and you don't care about them. He's now deleted the entire map. That's a bold strategy. <laughs> no, well, if you look carefully down the bottom, there's actually a, a tactic I've seen Lawrence pull off before, which is he's made a copy. So he's got his map. He's made a, a copy of the sheet just named D. So this is going to be, I guess, his easy way of referring between the different uh, the different copies of the map to say, okay, well, this one's on sheet D. And that has the advantage that he can just, you know, if he's looking in whatever cell B3 and he wants to have the traffic for B3 and he wants to have whatever else, like a reference to what, what uh, icon is in B3 and whatever, it's all just the same address but different sheets. So that's actually a pretty handy, like when I did this before, I uh, I put kind of one copy of the map below the other, but it meant you do a, a good amount of scrolling around looking for things. The way he's set it up with parallel sheets might actually, might actually be quite helpful from that respect. Yeah, I agree. I, I did the same as you, Dim. I, I had a lot of scrolling around, so um, certainly a big time saver there. I, I've uh, in the past I've copied the sheet in case like I messed up, mess up the data and break everything, which is a, uh, I think more pessimistic. But uh, no, Lawrence is really going for it and trying to save some time here. I think another interesting time save he's done is um, when he was sort of replacing all the green things with uh, with with numbers. He sort of just chose the number nine nine nine. I think like his formula is just going to like. Uh, it's not going to consider that as anything else. It's just going to be like, this is off the map. It's so impossibly slow to get through that you, you don't have to consider it rather than trying to say, oh, you just can't get through over here and say it's just like not available or something. So um, it's interesting how he sort of managed to optimize that as well. He's doing some nice setup here. He's got a thing just checking. It's going to like go look for the start position. So I don't know if people know, but so basically for the first several levels, everything starts from AB 68 and you have to find distance to certain places. You have to find journey times to certain places. But then for the more advanced levels, the start and the end location both change. So he's, he's done a nice little trick there with his start formula. He's just, uh, you know, he's got a, a variable in there for the level of the game. Um, and he's... Um, he's just made, you know, reference that so he can say, well, if the game level is below the ones, you know, where there's a custom start, then it's just AB68 always, and otherwise he goes and looks it up. Yeah, I think it's I think it's also interesting that he's done that, because um, when you're sort of trying to solve this um, problem, I'm going to say casually, that's probably not the right word, but uh, it, it, under sort of more normal pressure, um, a lot of people attempted to sort of make simplifications in their model. Uh, so, for instance, to make use of the fact that it starts at AB68 and not think about moving it too hard. Uh, Dimid, I know that you, uh, in these competitions, you like uh, sort of shooting the moons it was and trying always to come up with a general solution, which uh, uh, it's it's a riskier strategy in a, in a competition, but in something like this, when you need to save every second, uh, I, I think it's really the only way to go forward, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, in the normal competition, it's sort of how much can you get in 30 minutes, but in this form, out it's basically you have to get all the marks and it's just a question of how long it's going to take you and so you can see he's got the parallel formula set up here for you know the the maximum or the, sorry the minimum value of so basically the logic that he's doing here is um you know the the journey time to a certain point is just one plus the lowest journey time of of the journeys to each of the four cells around it so in other words to get to that point you have to come from somewhere unless you're at the starting point which is that if at the top so if, if you're at the starting point then then it's just you know you're you're there but if you're not at the starting point then it's the smallest of the journey times through each of the squares around you so that's the sort of four parallel pieces and it's you know you can only come from above it's if it's a road that drives down you can only come from the right if it's a road that drives left and so on 
Oh, it looks like he's starting to fill in answers already here. This is yeah, he's he's dancing away in the, in the bottom right. He seems pretty confident. It's going well so far. Um, and yeah, it's interesting if you are going to put everything in one formula, which uh, as I said, I'm not sure I'd recommend. But uh, having that in that sort of uh, you know having line breaks in everything, it makes everything much easier to sort of see because uh, essentially every formula is the same. It's just doing something slightly different depending on what direction you're coming from. But uh, he seems to be coming along pretty well already, which is very impressive. I think he's already probably ahead than virtually all the competitors after 40 minutes of the uh, real competition. If <laughs> yes, not I think that's there, fair to say, for off. sure. <laughs> so it looks like he's adding in the traffic now. Uh, now, okay, is, is, it, is that it? Are we done? Is it just wait for the data table to calculate? So the, again, if you, if you don't know this, the, so like I said, he put the variable in to, to pull in the settings for each level. So now he's just got a data table running to say, you know, what does that become if the level is 1, 2, 3, 4, 21 up to 100? And you can see them all. The 19s are the ones that haven't yet calculated, so you can see it's ticking through them. He's getting mad. It's running slowly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's definitely yelling at his computer, but uh, you know, considering all the all all the data to crunch i'd say his computer is doing an okay job really <laughs> yeah and i think if he was doing this uh you know just as a speed run on his own computer he wouldn't have uh, all the software we need to uh, actually run this stream in the background it, which yes is, uh, absolutely it's probably why it's running a little slower than he's used to um he's getting somewhere now though uh it looks like he's just putting all the answers in for everything which would suggest we're coming yeah, well, he's still got the here. first two levels. The first two levels are sort of the easy ones, but in this format, they might actually be harder because, uh, because you know, levels, whatever, three to six are all the same idea, and he's built a logic that flexes for everything. But those first two levels, he's still, uh, still got to come back to once he's done that. Yeah, I remember from the top of my head, I think like the first level is just how many of these items uh, are across the map, which uh, I don't think is going to trouble someone of Lawrence's stature. But uh, that one's easy. But this, <laughs> the, the second one, the um, the second one is checking, you know, the closest uh, the closest ride hailer. Uh, oh yeah, it looks like he's setting up the logic for that now. That one's not easy. Yeah, and it's also like uh, very different to the rest of uh, the uh, the problem, as, as we've been saying, which uh, I, I think in, in the actual competition was exceptionally helpful uh, because it meant there were some uh, more easy marks on offer. But uh, for the point of view of speed running, he's essentially he's going to have to do something pretty similar to what he's already done again. So, uh, you know, this is uh, adding to his time just because of this, what's meant yep. to be a nice, easy thing to add uh, to make it easy for the contestants. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the logic he's pulling here is basically if he's on that little, little ride uh, symbol in whatever BT14, if if it's that icon, that means you've got a ride hailer there, and then you can check which is the nearest uh, the nearest cab um, or the, the the journey time to the nearest road segment. And yeah, he's he's done it already. So he's just doing a minifs there. Uh, he just has yeah. to find find the smallest one of those. I think he was joking in the warm-up that this one genuinely may be quicker to do manually. It's, uh, it's nice. He's keeping in the spirit of uh, the competition and doing it uh, doing it with an actual formula. Uh, certainly, yep. the rest of the problems uh, you're not going to do manually in this amount of time. Uh, this one, the sort of this this 60 seconds, it might just be easy to look at the map, but it's uh, it's nice that he's come up with a solution uh, to do it properly. Yes, totally agree. It's. Uh... That's always the worry with these things that, I mean, it happened in the competition, right? Like every, almost everyone started off trying to make a universal solution and then realized that was really hard to do in 40 minutes. And most <laughs> people ended up just trying to manually map in some things. But I guess when you're targeting a time in the region of 10 minutes, not even at 10 minutes yet, uh, then then you need to find a faster way. <laughs> well, it's interesting, actually. My uh, my, my colleague uh, here, who I faced uh, in the quarterfinal when doing this, uh, if for real, uh, Harry, he, he uh, used a VBA approach, which uh, I'm not sure if anyone's actually sort of thought of uh doing this speed running by just memorizing what vba you need to write whether that be quicker or slower uh I, i'm not honestly sure i imagine it might be uh, quicker to do it this way uh i'm sure lawrence will have thought about it um and we, we can see how Bo. um it's an interesting little later. sign here that we're in the uh that we're in the mouse round you just you know to to get the numbers from 11 to 20 to to run the table here he just grabbed the the string of digits from the side there with his mouse and copied it over <laughs> <laughs> yes it's uh, uh, take every second you can get. Yeah, the next round we won't be allowing that. Um, and it is a big, <laughs> it is a big meme in the Excel community that uh, you know all the top modelers don't use their uh, their mice, and that is partially true. But sometimes something's just over there, right? Like <laughs> if, you, if if something's like an inch away from where your cursor is, just click on it. It's fine. Uh, and I think yeah. is that time. Oh, he's yeah. I think he's got everything now. He just has to put them in, and we'll see. Uh oh, something is Ooh. something's going Ooh, wrong. Some That's weird. He, he's got level one wrong. That is. Oh, I don't think he's locked his formula for for level one. I think the map is moving down with his formula. Maybe under the time no, because he, he referenced he referenced the whole columns. 
So it's it's not that, but I wonder what it is. Hmm. Well, this is interesting, but the the harder parts seem to be falling. Oh, wait, was, was there something? <laughs> I think something the, off there. He, he was referring to the map. Okay, he's got uh, sorry, the column. One. He's referring to the column, but I think the map he was referring to, like the reference of pointing at the map. I think uh, uh, I think that wasn't quite locked correctly, uh, which shows. <laughs> Sometimes it's the easiest thing to trip you up, right? <laughs> that, that is really the case here. Yes, that it is... looks like he's cleared everything except those first few. That, that, so it, let's see, say... it is B to B O is what he did. But what's what's going on? I'm unsure what Lawrence is doing here. If I think he's if you're sat to at home, something to check out. on what's to check on what's gone wrong. Yeah. Oh, he he pasted over the um. He oh deleted some no! Of the card. <laughs> yes. Oh dear! I did say early, didn't I? Always copy the map in case you uh. You, you did do say it and break it. Uh, so he's not. That's it. He's done go. it. And time. Twelve. Wow. Minutes, five. Twelve minutes. That is absolutely amazing. It is exceptional. I'm not sure we're going to be talking to a happy Lawrence in a second. But <laughs> no, still, it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> he doesn't look happy. But just to uh, reiterate, it's uh, so incredibly impressive that he did a problem that, as as we said, the yeah he said done a lot. Uh, we'll be really <laughs> we we, we know you're done, Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can, can we can we get Lawrence uh, back back on screen so we can talk to him? Here he comes, Lawrence. I <clears throat> All right. Do I open up the chat? All right. We we got you now. Oh, we could we could see the rage. <laughs> we were so close. <laughs> yeah, because I was I was lagging. So you saw I uh, I overwrote part of the map or I removed part of the map uh, by accident because uh, when I copied and pasted, it took that command over uh, moving part of the column. So yeah, that was a lag, but. <laughs> You saw yeah. the rage, right? I, I saw the rage. I mean, I saw the rage when the table wasn't calculating fast enough, and then I saw the real rage when it was like, how can the easiest level be the one that's not yeah. working? Yeah. But wow, 12 minutes. I mean, even with, with the lag and with the wobbles and the, the time to debug, like that was... That was amazing. <laughs> I'm very impressed with that. You certainly put the gauntlet down for Bo here. It's going to be really interesting to see if Bo can uh, you know, sh sh shave some minutes off um, with that one mistake and maybe maybe with a lot less lag as well. And maybe his approach will be slightly clever as well. We'll see. We will see. Hey, you know, he's got uh, 22 videos up on speedrun. I've got five, so I'm, 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 I'm going to put him as a four to one favorite uh, today. If you're you're, you're a bit too successful in this genre to try to place yourself as the plucky underdog, Lawrence, but I salute you for trying. <laughs> All right, Bo, are you are you ready to to match? Yes. Okay. All right, let's go. All right, Bo, three, two, one, go. So we've already seen um, uh, Lawrence's approach to say, so um, it's going to be interesting to see how, how does, is Bo going to do a similar thing? Is it's Bo going to do just, a similar thing? Sorry, go I on, just noticed, uh, uh, just noticed Bo did, I've seen him do this thing before a few times that like one of the first things he does is just move the uh, move the assumptions around into a place he prefers to have them. Um, it's like some of the stuff that was on the first tab. It looks like he is going for all on one tab, unlike uh, unlike what Lawrence did. And he seems to have got rid of the conditional formatting, I guess, just maybe, maybe that was slowing him down. I don't know. Yeah, conditional formatting does slow your spreadsheet down a bit. Um, if he's at, already at the level where he thinks conditional formatting and trying to optimize his computer is, is all that's um, weighing him down, then that is, uh, that's a good place to be, to be honest. <laughs> it certainly is. It certainly is. <laughs> it's interesting. I see he's gone for, he's created a grid that just has in each cell the address of, uh, of that cell. I was wondering if Lawrence was going to do the same thing. Oh, and he, I don't know if you saw, but he just gave it a, gave it a name there. He's, Bo is very handy with named ranges, so... Uh, Sure, yeah. we'll see a lot of a lot of names defined in the course of this. I'm, I'm very happy to see that because I always find uh, w when I'm competing in these things, I, I, I'm one of the only people who actually bothers to name things up. And uh, the commentators often uh, a bit incredulous. It's like, why is he bothering with this? But I, I do think it saves time because <laughs> uh, now, um, I mean, he's calling his uh, name ranges like one character names so that they're easy to type. I try and give them a bit more of a meaningful name because I otherwise I forget what they're called. Um, but. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, well, he's, uh, he's just going to do it so fast he doesn't have time to forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It does help if you're going to do it in. Well, what, what do you reckon, David? Do you think he's going to do it in, in less than ten minutes? Do you think he's going to beat uh, Lawrence or not? Well, what's your Ooh, I mean, I, it's, it's a tough one. It, I mean, you'd have to be a daring person to bet against Lawrence because <laughs> <laughs> he's very good. But I, I, yeah, I think if I had to, if I had to make a pre-match call, I would bet on Bo slightly. Gonna be well, tight. Okay, <laughs> I'll go for Lawrence just to make it interesting, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I think I probably agree with your logic. So um, yeah, we can sort of on the name Rage's point, we can see as he's building there. He's he's called the map MP, which is uh, probably about as short as Excel will let, let him call it that. And now uh, it, it just means he can speed up every time uh, he wants to refer to that. He just typed in the word MP. Whereas on the other hand, uh, uh, Lawrence had the advantage that he had it on several sheets, so he just referred to the same reference but on a different sheet name, which he shortened the name. So two different approaches to saving time there um he's now oh, building look, a switch this function. is interesting now he's got yeah he's doing a, a switch so he only has to look at one of up or down and only look at one of left or right and you can see here what i was saying about him moving the assumptions around to a place he likes them like he's got you know the rights and lefts sort of you know in view he's got the ups and downs in view all in the one place it's th there's a lot of thought that goes into the optimizations for the for his speed runs it's like I think there's a lot that you don't even realize is going on that he's that he's thinking through. Yeah, I'd agree, and I think he's going for a pretty similar solution as well of having um, it, it's it's the same idea, same differently laid out. It's the same idea, and that he's sort of looking at each cell next to it and going, okay, well we've come from one of these four cells. Where's the what's the smallest one because that's the one that we could have got here from the quickest, uh, and then like add one to that to see how far away we are. Yeah, so it, it looks like he's going, going more in a, a sort of classic uh, first to last order because he's he's set up for um, for kind of finding the closest ride hailer. But I guess if he's has he already done the whole distance? Thing? I mean, this, it, there's no if way he, if he's where I think it. he is, this is going to be ridiculously fast <laughs> because it, like in order to do this level, in order to do level two, he has to have at least the distances, if not the, the times factoring in the traffic, already worked out. Yeah, and I think also, um, once you've sort of got a, um, a setup for the distances, switching that to the times is, is pretty trivial. You just point at a different um, a different table. There's a couple of extra nuances, but um, no, like this this could be... This could be an absolutely incredible time if he's if he's as far away as we think he is. He's yeah, he's already got through level three, and uh, as we were saying earlier, oh, th I think this is this is interesting. He's which makes sense. He's doing levels three and four without a data table because it's the same starting point for all of those. So if that's set up oh. as the starting point, he doesn't need to data table it until he gets to levels five and six where the starting point changes. Yeah, no, that is genius. That's smart. That's very if, smart. If we deduct the time that we watched Lawrence screaming at his computer, um, <laughs> there, there are two advantages: a, that uh, Bo doesn't have to sort of waste that time, and b, he doesn't have to waste his uh, his, his energy waiting, <laughs> raging. Although waiting I have to say, if we cut out the time that Lawrence was raging at his slowly calculating data table, something would something of value would be lost in the, in the whole cast. <laughs> <laughs> it's not exactly what we want, but uh, now he is doing a data table. The final uh, the final two things. I mean, it's not only going to be uh, faster than ten minutes; it's almost going to be faster than five he's, he's almost nearly done seems like he's having a bit of problem here uh i don't think yeah. any of the answers are zero hmm interesting so what's going on as somebody who uses data table primarily for the fnwc and not a lot else i think i'm quite used to seeing this thing of zeros i just think <laughs> my my instinct is he's not quite set it up pointing at the right cell or excel's not able to sort of use the right cell to iterate through things yeah so I, i'm I mean, used to seeing that zero I, I was expecting him to have to set up a little bit more in the way of scenarios and then like run it with the 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 sort of level number as the variable he seems to have set it up to just run with the start point as the variable but then i don't know how the data table is is sort of connecting to the, the variable endpoint or whichever yeah. one he's using as the variable. I don't know how it's getting the other one. Yeah, indeed. To, to judge by his body language, I think this is not uh, not the expected outcome. Well, I think, is it the element that he's trying to set a data table up with two variables in one column? Is that the problem? Or, or is, it, is, is he he's managed to lock his... Ah, oh, this, oh. there we go. This looks better. That does look a lot better. There's a bunch of zeros down the bottom, but that's it's just still calculating, I think. There we go. Yep, there we go. So a minute lost there, but uh, if, if that's all he's, he's lost, then uh, he's still in a very strong position here, because um, I imagine his solution for level six is going to be pretty similar to level five. So is he almost done? He might be.
Oh, interesting. So it looks like he's going back to now change. Change is uh, great. Yeah. So I mean, again, no reason, no reason not to in this format, right? Like he, he may end the day with a model that can't anymore do levels three or five, but he's already locked in his answers for those. So I guess he, as long as he has remembered to copy, I saw him copy value paste the answers for level five. I wonder if he remembered to do it for level three. I didn't notice that if he did, but maybe he did. I do wonder if it would be slightly quicker to have one formula that could sort of dynamically switch between both. Uh, I'm not going to claim I did that because I don't think I did, but it just seems to be you can have a switch by if if this, then do the first formula, otherwise do the second one. Because they're two going to be pretty similar. Um, cause it, I think he's like, got everything ready to... Oh, no, wait, there's still one. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's that makes sense. Now he's doing this level. And again, he doesn't need a data table for that one. So it is so... interesting how they really have been um, alternating in uh, the difficulty of the thing, but I think they've done it, but also saving a bit of time by uh, making his answers be in the exact same form as the answer sheet, so it's uh, easy for him to paste in. Again, just yeah, those little paste in all counts. six. Yeah, he's going to paste in all... Oh, interesting. He obviously didn't want to paste it over like that, but... Yeah, maybe he was concerned he might break something uh, in the spreadsheet. But uh, and also, it's good to uh, be able to like dynamically debug as you go. As uh, as Lawrence uh, sort of failed on level one uh, for a bit, and uh, I think just decided to come back to it. He's just looking and checking as he goes. I think he already yeah, knows. Looks he's like one he as does well. have some. He <laughs> has, has some differences that it, do, it doesn't like. Ah. So it's a good thing he didn't paste it all in. Or that would have, <laughs> yeah, he'd he'd been, been in be trouble. trouble. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like they're all they're all clearing as he goes. So I think I think that's it. Oh no, sorry, one more level. What? But assuming this one checks out, then I think he's going to be done in like eight and a half minutes. It's just two thirds insane. of time. Yeah, I mean, Lawrence, wow. that was one thing, but this is this is another. If it just comes through now, hundred percent. There we go. Eight twenty-four. Absolutely amazing. Four minutes faster than what was already an exceptionally fast time. Wow. Let's get Bo back in. <clears throat> Bo, wow. That was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it looked like, like something went wrong with the data table. I uh, put the wrong XLOOKUP formula. I missed some range there. But it didn't hold you back for long. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good that yeah. I saw it. <laughs> Lawrence, I guess you you probably couldn't hear us as we were uh, as we were. It's I mean the approach you guys both took was was largely the same, but there were just a few a few kind of small optimizations. Like uh, so Bo didn't data table for levels three and four. He just did it with the one the one grid set up, which probably saved him saved him. We were saying saved him some of those seconds you were raging at your yeah. data table <laughs> calculating. Um, but yeah, very very <laughs> similar approach and just I mean wow. But, I mean, again, it's like one's better than the other, but you're both just so far ahead of what a normal human being couldn't do in 40 minutes. This is, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm always on the floor here. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> mm. but uh, we, we were saying at the start when um, Bo removed the conditional formatting, is like, are we already at the level where uh, people's machines are slowing them down, and uh, it, it's more waiting for things to calculate than uh, it is doing Excel? And it seems like we're not far off, but. Uh, Still, I'm sure we could still save a couple of minutes before we get down to a proper unbeatable record, but uh, that's not for today. Um, I think we have a second case. Yes, uh, I think we, m we might have a quick ad break first. I don't remember. Yeah, we, we've got a, qu got a quick ad break first, and then we'll come back and talk about the second case. Indeed. <laughs> Did I look pissed? Oh yeah, I mean your, your hands were definitely shaking. <laughs> good. Uh, good. Yeah, definitely adding value, Lawrence. They're that was that good. was a high point of the stream so far. <laughs> <laughs>
Great. Well, um, if you didn't think that was fast enough, don't worry. That is, in fact, the slowest case study we have today. Uh, as, as we said earlier, <laughs> as we said earlier, that one um, uh, was very, very diff difficult. Took a lot, a lot of people uh, in real uh, doing it for real. Well over 40 minutes to do. We've got it down to 10 minutes. This one is going to be even faster than that. This one is called Biathlon. Dim, what are we going to be doing here? Tell us about Biathlon. <laughs> <laughs> so Biathlon is attempting to figure out the uh, the total race duration of a biathlon, which involves, uh, you know, skiing laps, shooting uh, shooting targets, various complexities around. There's, there's like penalty laps if you miss when you shoot. Um, so we're, you know, we're given, it starts off with just, you know, here's three lap times and figure out how long it takes. And then it adds in, you know, firing bullets and, you know, whatever the length of time you need to do each of those. And then it starts to be, if, if you miss, then you have, uh, then you have penalty laps to do those take even more time. And then it gradually builds up to, you know, instead of three laps and a few things, it's like, you've got a sort of 12 lap relay with various different kind of stops to shoot, stops for penalties, etc. It's, uh, like you said, this one is definitely more doable uh in, in including by yours truly of course with a perfect score with seven <laughs> minutes to spare i'm guessing you felt pretty good about that at the time you might feel less proud <laughs> when we see what these guys do yeah it sounds pretty complicated um it probably is let's have a let's have a video explaining exactly how uh, everything's going to work fmwc open participants are hired as data analysts by the national biathlon team of their countries their goal is to model the possible results of the Biathlon World Cup's next stage for their home team and for the competing teams. Biathlon is a winter sport that involves skiing and shooting. For example, a sprint race starts with a skiing lap of 2,500 meters, followed by shooting five targets. For any target not shot, a biathlete has to ski a penalty loop that is 150 meters long. After completing the required number of penalty loops, the biathlete gets back to the main track, skis another lap of 2,500 meters, and shoots again. After the second shooting, he makes the penalty loops and runs the final lap of 2,500 meters to the finish. The as tasks result, provide the, the actual distance with the projected speed, speed of a sportsman at each lap, as well as the meters. projected shooting results. A white circle means that the target was shot, while a black circle means that the target was missed. While calculating race results the participants should assume that one regular shot takes 10 seconds and shooting one extra bullet takes 15 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to watch biathlon faster than it's ever been done before. Faster than it is in the Winter Olympics uh, and faster than it's been done in Excel as well. Bo, are you ready? And if so, yes. we'll go three two one go well the last case we had a bit more time to talk about uh, everything dim i think we might struggle this time around i think that's definitely the case <laughs> so, I mean, the, the first challenge to deal with here is is the units because you're given you know distances in meters and paces in kilometers an hour or something like that so you can see he's doing doing a little bit of setup right away just i guess converting uh converting these things so that he can kind of ignore that later and you can also see in the top left, uh, it, again, it was so fast you may have missed it. He was uh, calling, uh, yeah, once again, using his range names as uh was talking about last time round. So I think he's called the shooting times like B and S, like one character things to refer to those cells. will save a huge amount of time. I mean, I think he's already done level one, so that is yeah. uh, pretty impressive. <laughs> uh, I do remember level one was pretty easy, but uh, certainly not uh, 45 seconds easy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> It's, I, I was I was wondering I, I'm looking out for if anybody pulls a pulls a rap rose here because there's a, there's enough similarity between the five different levels in this one that I think you could actually do one universal solution if you uh, if you pull the data together in, in a neat enough way but uh, I mean this Bo's usual style obviously is to uh, is to kind of you know no helper cells and, and tackle each thing within its own line I, I might not be the best possible thing here but i mean it's certainly not uh certainly not slowing him down on julie <laughs> <laughs> well, i think uh, one advantage of this one perhaps over the last one is this one is much more uh is he on level five already 
Oh no, sorry, level four. <laughs> level four, level <laughs> four. Not that good, Tim. Calm down, calm down. But um, this one, much more, and uh, in, in similar to uh, many other FMWC questions, it very much builds up. Level one builds up on what you did level two, which builds from level two to level three. Whereas the last one, there is, a, a, as we saw, saw, like a couple of wildcard questions. This one, it just seems like he's solving it for one thing and then changing his formula to add the complexity of uh, whatever's happening last time. Um, well, I think, is he referring to the previous question? Has he noticed that, that the data is the same? Uh, no, he's referring to because for level four, you uh, you get a uh, person who won the previous level starts first and ah, then else loses yes. seconds according to how far behind they were. Um, just... <laughs> I mean, as you said, I think I did, I did it in 23 minutes. I think we're about to see it in two and a half minutes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, Which... it's just wild. It's just taking him no time at all. <laughs> So, I mean, th this is the thing. In the last level, the the number of uh, the number of loops and stops gets much bigger. But I guess he's just gonna, yeah, he has a formula that he can repeat for each block, and it's he just needs to sum all together to, at the end. Yeah, gather them all up. I mean, we're coming up to time here. Will he beat? Will he beat three minutes? Probably not, because remember, he does have to uh, paste these into the answer form. So um, that's true. I, that's true. I suppose if we were just going off of um, him being uh, him being done in the spreadsheet, uh, three minutes. Oh, is he going to get there? Perhaps not. It's taking him a bit bit longer just to get across. Um, oh, maybe no. that rap rose idea was wasn't a bad idea, Dim, to uh, it, it bring all the data together in a bit more of a tractable form, so he didn't have to go hunting rounds to uh, always ended up on the XFD. There, it's not what you want to be. Um, I, there you go. Three I minutes. Think he's ten. Done. Just... <laughs> yeah, he's done. He just needs to paste it into the answers. But uh, for all intents and purposes, he's got all the answers. Uh, I, I think if this was a real competition. Uh, he would if have. If we're getting to the level minutes. of you know <laughs> remove conditional formatting optimization, he could probably have saved a little bit of time with some uh, some alt page down to do the the kind of widescreen scrolling there. But yeah, yeah. He, uh, whew, look at this. It's... So far, everything's checking out. <laughs> he's going to come in the four minutes, which. Um, Means if we're going by total time, which I think we are, I think that means uh, to draw level, Lawrence is going to have to do this in a matter of seconds, which uh, is certainly going to be tough for him. I, I don't think it's on total time. I think it's just best best two of three. Okay, so um, still Lawrence very much in it's, the game. Then. It's all, all still to play for. <laughs> but uh, certainly, Bo, once again, setting down the gauntlets here. Um, just, uh, just getting the level five done now. Uh, just over four minutes. And I think... That looks like it. That uh, is time. Four minutes, six point one. Amazing, amazing. I mean, this one is uh, this one is so quick. I think we're just going to jump straight to uh, jump straight to Lawrence doing it now, right? And then we'll come and come and catch up with them both. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was. So have you so have your fingers sort of cooled down yet from all that that button <clears throat> pressing? That was so fast. Thanks. <laughs> I'm still checking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy with how that one went? What? Yeah. <clears throat> Un unflappable. <laughs> Lawrence, what do you think? How does this one feel to you? I don't think I'm going to beat 406. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> what time are you aiming for, do you think, Lawrence? Five to six minutes? Maybe wow. six with five to lag. six minutes. <laughs> the lag? <laughs> I don't know. He's, own, he's, he's, he's own, only going to beat you by 17 or 18 minutes, Michael. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> I know. I was, I was going to say, as he's finishing, like if this was the real thing and he did that, he'd have 25 minutes. He could go for a walk while all the other competitors finish, have a shower, go do whatever, like a multitude of activities. But um, <laughs> I think, Lawrence, if you're ready, we can uh, start getting you on screen and ready to go. See if you can um, come close to that, that exceptional modeling we've just watched there. Let's do it. All right, three, two, one, go. And by the way, if you're looking and, and feeling alarmed because of all these hash unknown errors, don't worry about that. That's just because there's some uh, there's some flags and things that only work in Office 365, which uh, which Lawrence is not currently using. He's gonna gonna do this on Dinosaur Excel. <laughs> yes, indeed. Adding a bit of difficulty there. Not not that he needed more difficulty, but um, not that still, he did. Still... <laughs> He's starting. Um, it's interesting. Starting at the top again. Well, I think this one, like, as I was saying uh, in sort of when Bo was doing it, given that uh, you can, like, when you did it normally, you would sort of start at level one and build up and build up. So that means 
perhaps if you can do a general solution and just set it up to ignore things that aren't there if they're not there, he could like make one formula that does like the general solution for level five and then just have it in level four and maybe delete a couple things. Like, yeah, yeah it, it just seems like oh. he's copy and pasting things a lot. It's, um, wow. yeah, <laughs> interesting approach. But I mean, you can see, uh, <laughs> you can see, I've noticed this before when I've watched his speedrunning videos. Lawrence has an exceptional memory. Like he's he's editing these without scrolling over to see what column he's looking at. He just knows this is where he's going. It's I mean, uh, it's a great way to shave off a few seconds if you can do it. Yeah. I wonder it, how his like copying four blocks and then editing each one will compare time-wise versus Bo kind of building one and then pasting it four times and adding them all up. Well, just thinking about also how he could perhaps optimize this, he could sort of go meta Excel and make formulas that generate these formulas for him because. Now, this formula is ultimately just a text string, right? And virtually all yep. of it's the same. All he's doing is changing these letters that we're watching him change. So maybe if he wants to optimize this a bit more, he could like use like code and car to uh, generate yep. like these ALs and he wouldn't need his memory. And then he could have Excel generate the formula, paste that, and then put that in. That's a good point. I mean, the uh, the other interesting thing here is I he I suspect this might be a little easier for him if he actually switched to uh, to R one C one mode instead of A one mode, because then it would be, it would be easier to see you know whatever it's like five columns over, then it's fifteen columns over, then it's twenty five columns over or something like that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, I think between us, maybe we should uh, <laughs> we should just maybe like with, with our ideas, and we can get Lawrence to do the typing. And between the three of us, we might have a chance <laughs> of beating Bo. Um, uh, maybe, maybe, <laughs> but let's not forget what we're up against here. <laughs> <laughs> we're two and a half minutes, uh, Mark. So you've got about another ninety seconds to go. As I said, it should he should hopefully be almost done. Uh, he just needs to make this horrific formula. Um, I say horrific, horrifically long. It does the job. Um, it is yes. a formula work for uh, these earlier things, but uh, he can just if he said. I mean, he, he is, he's getting the payoff for the way he's done it, right? Because yeah. you know now as he goes back, he just kind of deletes bits that he doesn't need anymore. But most of his work is already done. Yeah, so I mean, he was maybe maybe um, trying to play himself down a bit here. He could still uh, be with a chance. <laughs> he's got he's got another minute, but he looks like he's almost done. He's just um, having to, uh, as we say, delete more things from the formula. Which deleting is easier than adding things. If um, if you've ever shown an analyst how to do something, they will certainly delete things faster than they do them. Um, <laughs> Um, always model circular. That's probably not what he wanted in this one. Um, I'm sure that's just hmm. just a typo. It looks like he's fine, but he's got some zeros as all. Oh, is that okay? Hundred is is a hundred going to be a valid answer? I'm not sure it is. I think maybe he's um he's got a couple of typos somewhere. Round, but I guess we'll soon find out. We'll soon find out. He's copying in. He's in with a chance here. Uh, viewers like he's he's in, he, he'd have seconds. to find a way to drop them all in very quickly to to match the four. But he's certainly versus his five to six minute range. He seems to be uh, seems to be beating expectations. And certainly, uh, and uh, even if uh, he, he loses to both today, I think it, it cannot be overstated enough. And I'm sure we have said a lot. Like this is so exceptionally impressive to be doing this this fast. This is unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> this is, it's yeah. It's like you said. It's like shades of incredible. Yeah, if it, and yeah, if we've got two world champions commentating and saying something's pretty good, or former world champions, I should say, then, uh, then uh, it's, we're, we're it's, the past, <laughs> Michael. We're the past. <laughs> I know, I know. I mean, I would never be any good at this. I, I think my advantage in this is like trying to think of something in half an hour rather than being be able to type quickly. So um, it looks like we're nearly there. He's gonna get him sub five minutes, so it's it's under um, what he estimated. So he's he's still gonna be happy with that. Uh, Four yeah, thirty-five eight. That is time. Wow, Whew. that was tight. It's like thirty seconds between them. Very nice. Maybe, maybe without that mistake, <laughs> a little smiley face there. I, just, I love that. it. Let's finish with a flourish. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence, nice happy. work, Lawrence. You managed expectations well there. <laughs> <laughs> what nice. I hit? What I hit? You hit four thirty-five point eight. All right, you got a four handle. Pretty good. That's pretty, good. That's pretty, pretty good. nice. That's Sub pretty five nice. Five minutes. Yeah. Uh, it's under what he estimated, and I think uh, you maybe had a small chance there. I think you only had one sort of slip up with uh, something in level one or two, uh, but otherwise it seemed like that went pretty much to plan, Lawrence. Yeah, um, without lag, maybe a little faster, but I'm pretty happy with sub five, so um, not bad. <laughs> not at both levels, though. But <laughs> not, 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 not bad at all. <laughs> that, that, that's great one.
But in five minutes, yeah. under how long you get given to do it. World champion, he says, not bad. He's a difficult man to please, this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you don't, you don't get to be that good without having high standards. <laughs> well, yes, and wow. a lot of practice as well. Um, yeah, that... We have one more treat for you, but before we get to that, I think we have a, another sort of brief break, and then we'll get into the final keyboarding challenge, something a little bit different. Side here. If anyone's watching at home thinking, oh my god, this is terrifying. I, A, you're right. Uh, B, <laughs> <laughs> if you're considering entering the XL World Championship, formerly known as the FMWC Open, uh, it's coming up very soon, uh, don't feel like you need to do this to compete in that. It's, it's, you know, these guys are typing pretty fast, but what you don't see is the the kind of design and planning that makes that fast typing possible is actually doing a lot more of the work compared to the kind of fast keyboard. So, you know, even, even these two who are, you know, wizardly, cannot complete these cases in two minutes sight unseen, which is how actual competitors get them. So it's, you know, don't don't think of this as like for like with something that you would need to do. Although if you, you know, if you decide to revisit it after the round, then you're welcome to, to try to do Bo and Lawrence style absurdly fast. Yeah, maybe you're sat at home thinking you could do this even faster. I, I think I think we are now on the speedruns.com leaderboards. Uh, I think some of these are, so uh, feel free to have a go at home. But um, as I said, now we've got something a little bit different. Um, we've got a, a keyboard challenge so um much less sort of uh, logic and formulas just sort of how fast can you navigate around excel and it's, it's worth mentioning that uh, about the best part of 2,000 uh, people around the world are probably already trying or have tried this because this uh, this keyboard challenge is part of the, the sort of pre-competition training for the, the Microsoft Excel Collegiate Challenge, which is you know basically the, the sort of version of, of these competitions specifically for, for college students. So uh, yeah, this, this keyboarding challenge is part of what they're working on. So this is it's going to be their chance to see how, uh, how some of the pros do it. All right, Great. why don't we um, take a look at what they're going to be... Go ahead, Michael. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, given, given that you're going to uh, very kindly take us through how this program works in a, in a short video, um, let's have a look at what this, pro uh, this challenge looks like. So this is the keyboarding challenge. You've got a little path here that you need to follow along. You've got to stay on the path because any time you go off it, you get a 10-second penalty. And then when you get to these different green squares, it gives you a little instruction. In this case, you've got to sum the three numbers above. And it can give you a hint as well. You can use alt equals to do that really quickly. Go like that. And then each time you do a piece, it reveals the next piece. So I'm just going to go to a fully revealed version. And each of these green cells, you've got a different challenge to do. Here you have to put in the numbers from 1 to 5 with sequence. Here you have to fill in all of these with the number 1. Here you have to sum all the cells to the left. Come along here, you've got to sum all the cells in the box above it. Come along here, you've got to fill in some of these cells start off blank you've got to find a way to fill in all the blank cells with two here again you've got to build a, a sequence of the numbers one to six here you've got to sum up some numbers you've got to name this <clears throat> name this cell range then you have to format this one as a percentage format this one as currency format this one as a date format this one with a bottom border only 
let's see, format this one with borders all around, format this one with a thick border, get rid of the borders on this one. And then this is one of the trickier ones. You've got to copy the formatting from here and then jump down to here, but without going off the path. Uh, so that's one of the trickier pieces. Uh, and then put a box around that, and then you come over here to finish. Well, that looks interesting and uh, tricky, but before we dive right Uh, let's kick off. Lawrence, you get to go first. Let's uh, let's flip over to your screen and then we'll count you in. Marcus, Wait, so I, I just I click I start. Yeah, we There's probably no don't timer. need to count you in on this one. Yeah, I yeah, just click start. It, the start is right there. All right. All right, hit it. Mm. Okay, so Lawrence is actually being a little charitable on his first go because he's left <laughs> the instructions on so you can see what's happening. But uh, you can still see he's going to be going pretty fast here. So it, yeah, it's uh, going <laughs> to be very tr tricky to our commentator on what's going on here because <laughs> it's really, it is just going to be lightning speed jumping yep. around sum the screen. Yep, sum all those up, <laughs> sum all these up. This this is the first kind of tricky piece. You've got to fill in all the blanks with twos. you got to yeah. go to special blank. Yeah, this, this is the first one that requires uh, not just keyboard skills, but also like a bit of thought and knowing uh, how to approach problems quickly in Excel, which is just as important. Oh, I, I think, think you might have gone off the path, path there. Oh, the, the judges <laughs> won't be happy with that. The judges are whatever VBA the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the um, that tracks this. So uh, I think it's going to be pretty unforgiving that he's jumped off there. Um, yep. And again, he's had to jump oh, across now, the bridge this, there. This is the like, high speed mode. you got to format everything in format percent, format currency, format date, and then all the different kinds of borders. He's flying through. Those those instructions are definitely slowing him down. We gotta let him turn those off for the next time around. Yeah. Even so, he's he's getting there. Uh, and yeah, you can also see uh, we haven't really talked about it much, but on the right, you can see uh, the keystrokes is going there. So uh, if if you're going, oh, I don't know what the shortcut for that is. Uh, you, you can look on the right hand side and uh, maybe learn something today as well. Yeah, uh, I think he's to... coming up to be near the near the end. That's there it. He's done it. One mistake. So that's uh, we had ten seconds on, so that's ninety two seconds. 92. Good... That's still, uh, I, you know, I saw there's a there's a leaderboard up on the on the website for like all the the college students who've been working on this. I think you're you're not quite in the top 10 in the world <laughs> of the thousand plus people who are working on this and have had as many attempts as they want. But even at that, and even with one slip off the path, you're already pretty close. This is uh, this is serious business here. <laughs> a good a good benchmark to set down, I'm sure. Uh, and also, uh, as you were saying, David, the uh, the instructions were on, which uh, I'm sure Lawrence will turn next time uh, um, uh, we can't hear you lots by the way um okay better Lawrence, what were you we trying to say there <laughs> oh yeah i was saying i was still i was in the other channel so i couldn't hear anything you were saying 
Yeah, oh. we were uh, we were just saying that you it was helpful for the viewers that you had the instructions on, but we'll probably allow you to turn those off on the on the next run and save some time if uh, if you can remember what you need to do. It'll be uh, be tough if you you know mix up your percent and your currency and your formatting order, but save a few seconds if you can. He looks uh, confident. Your, your your impressive memory was certainly uh, visibly at work on the last case, so I, I'm sure you can handle this one as well. <laughs> Got it. All right, Bo, are you ready to ready to take that on? Yes, and I'm turning instruction off. Yes. <laughs> wow. Wow, Bo has not come here to play today. <laughs> you thought maybe for the first round he'd do it, but no. He, there's he's there's no messing around here. Big mark. No, no mercy asked or offered. <laughs> do you think you can get lower than a minute, Bo? All right, oh, let's go. Don't distract the man. <laughs> yeah. Whenever you're ready, Bo, you can start. Let's see, can we, can we even say what's happening as fast as he does it? <laughs> All right, sum up the three numbers. <laughs> Sequence. All right, all ones. Add up Moving all the ones. Okay. Oh yeah, add them up. Down here, add sum that up that block. Oh, that was jump fast. Across, Whoa, how do you do that? Oh, he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh he is interesting. Jumping. He did it oh, a he totally different way. Place. I never thought of that. Interesting. Oh, and he just jumped right across there. I wow. Is that allowed? He's even optimized this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, oh he's, he's jumped off, off. He's jumped off there though, so uh, that will be uh, an extra ten seconds. But uh, I think he's 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 solidly ahead, and he's. I've done this one a few times. I thought I had kind of come up with all the little optimizations, but he's he's done a couple of things I never even thought of here. <laughs> no, this is. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if you do this thing a hundred times, you probably do. Uh, you probably start seeing in your sleep. If I'm honest. Um, well, it's interesting. I feel like most there. people do something a hundred times and they just get into a rut and do it over and over. There's obviously, there's a degree of deliberacy required to... Wow, so under a minute, but the penalty takes them a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's... One ten second penalty. Gives... That's still... <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Gives Lawrence a bit of, bit, bit of breathing room, though. Uh, maybe Lawrence can beat him on the second run. Bo, were you happy with that? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this is what I'm saying. High, high standards these two guys have. Wow. Oh, should, we, should we just dive straight back into Lawrence? Or we'll, we'll, we'll give them a second to take a breath. We'll build the tension here. <laughs> so, so Lawrence, Lawrence, I think... You're, you're a little behind on that speed, one, but yeah. you got the instructions off this time. It's, it's, all, it's all to play for. And you know, I noticed you don't get a penalty if you use the mouse, even though it says keyboarding challenge. You, you're, you're allowed to click around. Oh, um, interesting. I think so. Yeah. If you really probably. wanted to optimize it, you can you can you can use the mouse uh, hmm. to do so. Interesting. Instead of using the keyboard to jump mm -hmm. uh, from path to path. Yeah, I, I just noticed Bo, uh, Bo managed to, he didn't mouse, but he managed to kind of control jump across a bit where I was I was yeah. used to kind of going back down around the path and up again, but uh, I hadn't even thought about being able to skip along there. That was that was a neat little trick. And the, the find replace to put in the twos, again, I, it, like I'd used, like Lawrence did, I'd used go-to specials blank, but blank. it never even occurred yeah. to me that you could that you could do it that way. It was, it, I mean, it's... So we've got we've got the times up here now, uh, Lawrence uh, one thirty two. But you can you can still beat Bo on this round if you beat that uh, sixty eight seconds. A uh, bit of time to save in those instructions. So uh, certainly uh, in with a good shot here of um, uh, of taking the lead again, Lawrence. Are we, By are the way, if, you, if you're trying this at home and you're uh, and you're on kind of default Excel settings, you might notice every time you put in a formula and press enter, it takes you off the path. You gotta you gotta watch out for that. You can change your settings, or if you hold down Control when you press enter, it'll it'll leave you in the same cell. So if you find that's what's uh, that's what's throwing you off, then then that might help you. Obviously, these two guys already know that, and many more tricks besides. <laughs> All right, should we jump back into Lawrence? Yeah, so I'm just going to click uh, start again. Yeah. Yeah. When you're ready. Uh, Here we whoops. go. Wow, okay. Wait. I didn't know the timer started already, but what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, that, that that does mean that... Um, oh, no, he's turned the instructions off this time. So um, he's now jumping about a bit, um, a bit faster. You can see they're not slowing him down, having to press enter to get rid of that dialogue box to tell him each time. Um, 
He's done this enough times. I don't think he's going to forget what to do. Uh, and he's, he's already no, market, um, markedly ahead of where he was last time. Although a little slip up there. Oh, um, hadn't selected off. blanks correctly. I don't think he hit the K to uh, select blanks, but he's got it now. Uh, oh, well, oh, where's he gone? Oh, that is, oh, that is way oh, off the bar. That's, oh, that's probably the run dead. Oh, Yeah, that is. That's a shame. That is it, I'm afraid. That's going to be uh, harshly penalized. Yeah, I think pretty much every time you're off the path, it's an extra 10 seconds. So uh, I think he's already pretty much behind. Um, but still, still soldiering on uh, as we have I, to. Uh, I, I think he might have forgotten, uh, forgotten what needed to come next there as well, because he was doing the, the sum before he did the sequence. But oh, this yeah, <laughs> this thing is harsh. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it, it, it is uh, certainly um, probably the, of the three events we've done today, one that you can uh, download uh, off, well, you can download all of them off the FMWC website. And this one uh, is probably the most approachable you can try at home. You don't have to be uh, an Excel whiz with all knowing what the formulas does. Like you can do this just to like improve your dexterity with the keyboard. Uh, you can see he's now using his mouth a bit more, which uh, as we were discussing saves a bit of time. And by and the way, just a quick aside. Oh, there he's, he's got it done. Mm. That one didn't go so well. <laughs> just, just a quick aside. Michael mentioned. <laughs> I love, love the sad face. That's finishing style. <laughs> okay. Just, just a quick aside before I forget, because Michael mentioned that you can download this case. You don't actually have to be a university student to uh, to download it and to, to play along and do the cases. You won't get ranked or uh, or anything. You, you certainly won't win any of the enormous prize fund if you do. Uh, but you can uh, you can download these if you're just a regular non-student human being. Lawrence, we felt your pain there. Like yeah. I, I could see it just. <laughs> Once, yeah, once it went off, there was no coming back. <laughs> yeah, you went a long way mm. away in, into uncharted territories of exile. That's not where you want to be when you're on a very strictly, uh, <laughs> a strictly uh, defined path for uh, for speed running some keyboard shortcuts. So, um, it looks like at this point it's a victory lap for Bo. Uh, I think the question on all of our lips is, can Bo get this done in less than a minute? Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it? I'll go. Wow, this time. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hold nothing back. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Let's move to both screen. Do say purely a victory rap. He's, he's won all three rounds. It's been an exceptional performance today. Can he get this done in a minute? When you're ready, Bo, and he's gone. All right. He's summing up. We got the sequence. Well, a little, little minus sign there, already a different step up, but uh, also the disadvantage with this and what's tricky with this one is the faster you go, the more likely it is you get that 10 second penalty for slipping up. Uh, so certainly, true. it's certainly a balancing act um, between is, is, it, is it worth like trying to mash keys as fast as possible? Well, don't do that, but the right keys as fast as possible. Um, because always oh, jumped off there. He jumped off, oh, oh, he jumped off again he six times. Well. He spotted it as well. <laughs> oh, he, he, he did the sneaky thing going around without the path again there. I hadn't even thought about being able to do it there. Just go through the, the formatting gauntlet. <laughs> uh -oh. any, any investment banker will be very familiar with this uh, section of the uh, section of the uh, the section um, of the exercise. Oh, he's gone off again. Slipped off the path again. Oh, this isn't. I think he's. Uh, oh well. <laughs> overcooking it, I think. I think as we're discussing the balance between going too fast, I think both of them. <laughs> like he could have slowed down, right? Like he had 58 seconds. He could have slowed down maybe a tiny bit and just not. Yeah, had that but mistake, you know when you uh, when you've already won, you got to just shoot for the moon. Got, that's <laughs> true. That's that could be more right couldn't be more that true was, he said he was gonna go wild and that was that was the way to do it sometimes <laughs> that means you go off the path three times <laughs> <laughs> guys i can only assume that you're both just slightly exhausted after that because that's certainly how i feel after doing one of these and with with all the rehearsals and everything and then three of them to do it's like whew. Yeah, normally in the in the jet normal competition, you at least have a, a chance to sort of maybe ponder a bit and uh, have a glass of water by whilst wondering what to do. This one, you already know what to do. You know it needs to be done. It's just how fast can your fingers press the buttons. So um, it's been an exceptional showcase from two of you. Um, but Bo has won, but uh, it's Lawrence has still done exceptionally well and I'm sure is still going to be a very heavy favourite going into the rest of the season, which we'll discuss in a second. Looking at the, speed, um, the leaderboard here, like we can't we can't say enough how uh, impressive these these times are. Yeah, I mean, it's, like just look at the totals. There's like under under 20 minutes, like mid teens to do all three of these. It's I mean, it's it just beggars belief. It's I mean, I, who knows? Maybe maybe you're sitting at home thinking, well, I can't I can't do it, you know, 
sight unseen in 30 minutes, but with with time to prepare, I could. If if you think you can uh, if you think you can pull this off, go on over to speedrun.com and you can find the uh, the FM World Cup. All the different cases are there. You'll see a lot of records already pre-populated because Bo and Lawrence have both uh, have both done quite a few of them. But there's there's a lot of uh, ground yet to claim as well. So you know, go go find one, blast through it, and uh, and see if you can get your name on the board. Lawrence, hey, Bo, how are you? How are you feeling? Good. You know, I got to tip my hat to Bo. He killed it today, and um, that's why he's the Excel Wizard. Yeah, faster than the uh, world champion. I mean, that yeah. is that. That's something to put on the CV, isn't it, Bo? <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm really honored to be here and among greatest Excel guy like you, Dear Moon Chairman, and Lawrence. So thanks for having me here. Bo, I think it is very fair to say that you have earned your spot here. <laughs> it's been an honor having you as well, Bo, and uh, hopefully we'll see you uh, very very soon as well. And, and I look forward okay. to seeing more of your uh, more of your speed runs on your channel if you keep posting them, because every time I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, maybe just to plug both of their channels are, uh, you can just see them below their, below their names here, both uh, Lawrence and Bo uh, do speed runs of these um of these problems and also talk through what they're doing uh perhaps a, a little uh, more eloquently than me and dim can because they actually know what they're doing we're trying to figure it out as they go um dim is not there but dim it also does have a youtube channel as well uh, going through um some, some of the problems at a much more leisurely place <laughs> yeah distinctly more leisurely place than these. <laughs> yeah I, I normally feel like i'm a pretty fast guy but yeah in, in this company i'm definitely slow <laughs> It's been great having you both on, Lawrence and Bo. Uh, thank you so much for uh, coming along and showing what you can do. Um, and uh, see you next time. I'm sure we will. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. And uh, just a reminder that you know it's uh, you've, you've seen the the thing pop up in the in the ad breaks. This is the next month or so is like it's, it's open season. Busy, busy, <laughs> busy season for the Financial Modeling World Cup. We've got we've got more rounds of uh, more rounds of the main competition. We've got the the Excel World Championships the, that starts I think next weekend. Michael, you're hosting another battle. Already yes, next I week, I think. Yes, oh, there's, we have there's a warm-up the schedule. for the it's all there. Modeling Championships. So, um, yes, uh, if, if you uh, like some of this but want to see it in a bit more of a leisurely pace, uh, I will be hosting with uh, Excel on Fire, uh, a.k.a. Oz de Soleil, uh, next week at the Financial Modeling Summit for a warm-up battle. Um, and then we're going to the Collegiate Challenge, uh, which is uh, run by, uh, amongst other people, David Brown, who uh, wrote the Keyboarder Challenge for the last case. Uh, if you're a student watching this and want to sort of try out your Excel sell uh, skills against other students around the world um, then the first two rounds are then and then the finals you can see at the end will be in Arizona um, but David do you want to talk more about the Open? Sure well we, we don't call it the Open anymore right it's the, we don't, it's the XL World Championship <laughs> because it's funny they, I think they said that just every media story called it that so they're like all right fine it's the XL World Championship <laughs> uh, but yeah the qualifying round of that is is I think next weekend October 8th uh, and then you know if you get through that it it goes into a, a giant bracket I think March Madness only even bigger there's a uh, 128 people uh, qualify for that they get paired off and whittled down literally one round at a time it goes to, to 64 to 32 to 60 to eight to four to two and then to one champion michael made it to the finals last year but uh andrew nye proved to be unstoppable i guess lawrence is going to be uh, is going to be featuring this year I, I don't i don't know if Bo will he says he take it takes him too long to uh to digest these things to do them in half an hour he, he needs the the long form prep but there's uh there's gonna be a lot of names to watch out for there but you know there's 128 spaces available so it's not only going to be uh it's not only going to be wizards there's plenty of room for uh for everyone to come along and i can certainly speak to you know i didn't get to do the biathlon or the um or the share the ride case last year because i got knocked out in i think round three so you know don't assume that anyone is unbeatable in this format <laughs> Yes. Yeah. In a March Madness, like anything can happen, right? Um, I, I, I think just uh, yeah, it, it's it's very difficult for even the top modelers to um, get through every single round. So uh, and who knows, you could come up against one of me and Dermot. Uh We'll probably be uh, much much less relaxed than we currently are in the in the commentary chair. There'll be uh, probably some other big names next cell. Um, a couple of big names next cell um, commentating on us instead, uh, and they get to have the fun job of sitting here um, with with. with um, sort of you two uh, commentating on these two people and uh, i have to say it's been a pleasure doing it uh, commentating with you today um yes likewise <laughs> looking forward to seeing you back in action again next week with oz 
Indeed. Yes, looking forward to that as well. So uh, a lot of talking about Excel in the next month uh, or two. It is Excel <laughs> season, as you said. Um, yes, indeed. But I, I guess or I guess we're all wrapped up here. So uh, thanks everyone for joining us, and uh, congratulations again to Bo and Lawrence for just uh, unbelievable magic tricks performed today. <laughs> Yeah, indeed. Thank you all for coming. It's been great having you all and hope you enjoyed.